So that one's kind of a given. Empty chairs at empty tables. <laughs> Where my cat will eat no more. Welcome back to Psychonauts. Okay, so, help Gloria control her mood swings, help Fred win the battle in his mind, help Edgar, and, uh... At the time of this recording, I asked you which sounds the most appealing, and you said Fred win the battle of his mind. Yes. And this is actually my favorite level in the game. So, the order you selected, unfortunately, is descending order. So we're going to start with my favorite level, go to like a decent level, and then to my least favorite level. Okay. So we'll start strong, and then kind of peter out. But again, that's my opinion. Yeah. You could think differently. For me, I really like the aesthetic of this level coming up. The uniform of this army is sacred. We shall wear it proudly until the battle is over. Help me. All right, Fred. Here we come. The war is on. Le fire. Fires and missiles! <laughs> but I'm late tired. Well then take a nap. Set fires, fires and missiles! missiles. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what do you think the level is? I think it's gonna be the French Revolution. Nice, okay. Very cool. Dudes. I swear the animals take shifts on commentary. I know. One episode, the cat bothers Luna's us. Luna's messing around and with something. And the next episode, Wesker's like, oh, my shift. All right. I'm going to clock in. Yeah? So Fred Bonaparte is a descendant of the Napoleon Bonaparte. <laughs> and they're playing a strategic game. They're playing Risk. Yes. basically, They're basically playing Risk. <laughs> Okay, there's something in the fireplace. But we're gonna wait on that. Collect these figments. And uh the music is that very triumphant. Okay. <laughs> it's the music that I used for the Matilda video we did because it very much sounded like Trunchbull. <laughs> yeah. I love there's a meme that's like people that say classical music is boring don't realize that Beethoven used 16 cannons. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my god. I, I just think of that short of me studying while listening to classical music. You can't do it. Da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> like, my roommate was always confused in college because I could never listen to classical music and study. And she's like, that's supposed to be like really helpful. And I'm like, no, because I sing along. She's like, there's no words. I try. I'm like, it doesn't <laughs> matter. <laughs> Yeah, I'm actually related to him. Can you believe it? Shut up! Stop telling people that shameful fact. I don't even want to be here. But when this sad excuse for a Bonaparte lost a simple game of war to a feeble-minded invalid, I just could not take it anymore. I was forced to take control, and I will stay. So to clear this level, we have to beat Napoleon at the game of war. Okay. Who dares to call himself a Bonaparte? No, really great, great, great grandpa Napoleon. I do love victory, like a ton. I love it so much. You can go now, I swear. Y'all move. Okay, so we're gonna yep. grab this tag. Who's winning now? What do you think? Who's winning now? Ah! <laughs> Because right now you're like, wow, this level is pretty small. It's just one room. And the two characters just playing a board game. You can't get a good grip. But this is Psychonauts. Psychonauts is pretty creative. Huh. Because we get to go inside the board game. Oh. Yeah. So we become a playable piece in their little game of Risk. What's this? 
My lazy opponent is actually trying to eat. I like his like he Baba Yaga throw. <laughs> well, then let the game truly begin. Send in my best soldier. You destroy that bridge. All right, so the objective of the level is we have to recruit playable characters for Fred's team to take out his soldiers. Once we take out the soldiers, we can then claim the ca castle and we win. Neat. Oh man, now look. The bridge is broken and I can't move my thesis past it anymore. I quit. <laughs> Napoleon, you win. No, we don't forfeit. We're going to beat you, Mr. Genetic memory of Napoleon Bonaparte. Ha <laughs> I like your je ne sais quoi, your joie de vivre. Maybe you will teach my long-legged nincompoop a lesson, eh? <laughs> Alors. Okay. So there's a couple figments here that we can collect before we get into the real juicy part of the level. But our objective is to recruit a carpenter to repair the bridge. Hmm. And then recruit a peasant to fight the soldier. Okay. Oh, got ourselves a tag. Suitcase tag, yeah. I really like the different textures on the ground. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it really helps. It makes it seem like a board game. Yeah. But what's even cooler is we go inside the pieces, and now the level really opens up. The, this is actually the largest level in the game. It doesn't seem like it at first, because at first you're just in a room. Yeah. But the more you explore, the bigger it gets. So we're gonna collect some figments, do a couple objectives so that we can recruit a carpenter and a peasant. But yeah, I really like the aesthetic. I like the idea. Yeah. Um, it, it's very unique. It's not something you're gonna play in every game. Like we've we've gone through close to thirty games now on this show, and you've seen a lot of like deserts and yeah. pirate ships and stuff it's, like that. It is refreshing to see like something different. Mm -hmm. What's the fate? Because we have many more games to come, and there's not that many that implement a board game. Yeah. Th there's a handful, I won't spoil, and, like, some games do have very creative levels, as, we, as we've seen with um, A Hat in Time. Mm-hmm. But also, this game was one of the games that inspired A Hat in Time. So A Hat in Time drew inspiration from this game. Yeah. Hello. And it's like, I'm going to sit back here. Hi. And this is actually the hardest level to collect all the figments for because the area is so big and a lot of the figments are hard to see. This level also introduces some new enemies. We have these cannon monsters over here that are firing shots at us. You can defeat them one of two ways. You can use telekinesis and launch them into the water or you can use pyrokinesis and light their fuse, causing them to blow up. Okay. I don't know if they're guys in a cannon or if they're like monster snails. Yeah. But see, that's what we do. And then he's like, oh no. Use the shield. Every time we've said cannon, all oh, I no, can think work. of is squirrel nut zippers. Ships were made for cannonades to fire from out inside them. <laughs> oh, I don't think I know that reference. It's a, um, squirrel nut zippers is a big band. Oh, okay. They're part of like, Ouch. The big band revival in the 90s. Oh, cool. And they do a song called The Ghost of Stephen Foster. Now that sounds familiar. I probably heard Stephen it before, Foster and if you played it, I'd probably Paradise. recognize it. This is what they told him as they gazed into his eyes. <laughs> Dang, dude. I thought... Hang on, something's wrong here. Luna no, is I can't so just shoot him. That I don't have arms right now. No, because that just ricochets off his shell. <laughs> She's freaking out. All right, let's try this. We. Okay. So you gotta use telekinesis, and he hides in a shell. Then see his eyes. He's like, uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Oh, boy. Big sensors up here. There you go. Light you on fire. Probably torch that wooden fence, but... <laughs> <laughs> Smokey comes out, what have you been doing? Smokey comes out like, what did I say? 
Je ne sais pas. She's not a happy camper. Why not? Because I don't have arms. Oh, okay. <laughs> I currently have my arms tucked inside my hoodie. Mm -hmm. And the cat is like, where's your arm? <laughs> what happened, Mom? Tell hey, me who notice, did this. <laughs> did you notice Finn has a metal arm? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Different She's game. She's also trying to crawl inside my sleep hole. <laughs> Look at all these snails. We gotta collect some escargot. Come here, little snails. I need ten of you. For a purpose that is yet to be discovered. Come hither. Don't run. Don't run. Six. Come on. Seven. That's not how it goes. One. Two. Three. <laughs> three. How many legs does it take to get to the tussy center of a tussy pop? The world may never know. So I was so <laughs> mad the one year at science fair, like the kid that won, that was his project. Yeah. I was pissed. Alright, so we got a we bucket of snails. That's one of our playable characters. That is not the peasant or the carpenter, warriors, but they will play their role land. in due time. We may not be fast, but we always march upon the glittering path of righteousness, for we created ourselves from our hearts. Lead us onward, and let us eat holes in the leaves of Napoleon's garden. Wow. Right on. Yes. Okay. So what we have to do is each time we knock on the door of like one of the civilians, they say, hey, fetch me this and I'll consider okay. joining the war. So like each character has a different item that you have to collect. Okay. And right now I'm collecting figments of apples <laughs> because they're all over the place. Whee! So remind me what happens with the figments. So the figments help me rank up. Okay. They increase my rank, and they also serve towards, like, completion. Okay. I only care about the rank for the most part, and after I go through these three levels, I speed through, I collect all the emotional baggage, yeah. I collect all the mental cobwebs. I don't collect all the figments, because I'm just like, I don't really care, because there's a lot of, like, one-time-only figments. Okay. That just, personally, it's not worth the hassle for me. Yeah. <laughs> But right now, they help increase your rank, and the earlier you can increase your rank, the easier the end game is. Okay. So, like, right now I'm at rank 46, and as I've explained, rank is similar to, like, levels in an RPG. So, if this was, like, Trials of Mana or I Am Setsuna, I'd basically be at level 46. Okay. And there's 101 level, 101 ranks total. Oh. Yeah. There's a hundred, and then like the bonus 101, which gives you like one more special thing, which I think is just infinite ammo. So I'm just like, nah, I don't really care. Like it's cool. It's it's a simple completionist um, reward, but it's not something I'd practically yeah. use. It's same with like video games that give you like infinite money. It's like, eh, I don't much care about that because by that point I'm at the end of the game and I've right. bought all I wanted to buy. That's how I ended Trials of Mana when I played it. I ended that game with so much money. Yeah. <laughs> oh, mental cobweb. I see you. Aha. Okay. Anything back here? All right. Let's see what this guy wants. I'll give us a little clue of what he desires. Hello in there. Any carpenters home? Go away, burglar. <laughs> burglar. I'm a burglar. I'm a recruiter for Fred Bonaparte's army. We're a little light in our corps of engineers, see? Listen, I know you're a burglar. I've been listening to your footsteps on my roof all night trying to break in. Why don't you just slide down the chimney? I got a nice fire going for you in here, Mr. Burglar. Okay, if 
If I'm a burglar, then how can I be down here talking to you and up on the roof at the same time? Maybe you're a ventriloquist. Listen, if I go see what's Well, geez, he sure has an answer for everything. Will you come out and help fight Napoleon? Oh, maybe. Okay, so we got to take care of the burglar. Once we do that, we'll gain his trust. So yeah, find a way onto the carpenter's roof. Alrighty. So I believe what we can do is we're going to go through a different building and go from, from one roof to the next. Okay. And that's how we're going to get into the carpenter's roof. Oh, look, another figment. Nice. See what I mean? Sometimes you don't see them and you just collect them and you're just like, yeah, oh, you're that like, was a oh, figment. Oh, well, there it was. Well, okay then. Because, like, while you're collecting, like, all of them, you're just like, where the hell is that last figment? <laughs> Meanwhile, you pass through it, like, six different times. Yep. Okay, well, there's the suitcase. I have the tag for the suitcase. Aha! Ouch. Our she blows. All right, gimme, gimme. Got it. Hooray! Whee! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> You're thinking about that she Every time. Short. Every time. <laughs> Every time you hear the word we now. Whee! It's just a little Sheba pouncing into the snow yep. face first. While the owner's freezing his nuns off. Just like, ah! <laughs> yep. <laughs> Little pupper's like, I got an undercoat. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> -ha, now I know how to defeat you. You're no threat to me, you son of a gun. All right. Astral projection layer restored. All right, what does this guy want? for the army of Fred Bonaparte and go away Fred Bonaparte has forgotten the people and we have forgotten him what Fred loves the people he was just telling me that some of his best friends are um the people he has abandoned us he doesn't care if we live or die look I'll tell you what I'll talk to Fred I'll talk to him and I'll prove to you that he cares about the common man and that the fight is not meaningless I'll believe it when I hear it from him. All right, so now we got to go talk to Fred and be like, hey, you got to believe in your people. You got to show them the Y, M, C, A, because these are my village people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. There we go. If I could just fly down. Nope. It's fun to stay at the YMCA. <laughs> oh. No! Damn. Come on. And a one. And a two. And a float. A little more air. Dang. Not really work. Oh, okay, cool. Smoke just shoots me up. Nice. Works like bubbles in Mia Vodella's level. Ah, okay. My bubbles. So here's how you get past this obstacle. You become invisible. You can't see me. <laughs> oh, really? I gotta. <laughs> that is one of the most recurring annoyances I have in platformers and collectathons. The item you need is just above, just so you have a to jump. Out of reach. It's like you can't just walk through and be like, "Got it." No, no, no. You just kind of have to jump a little bit and be like, "Oh, sweet. hope I land back on the platform." <laughs> Which I never do. I do like that um, the sensors in this level have like little like admiral hats. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the revolution. Vive la revolution. So yeah, this was the closest you've gotten so far to guessing how the level would go. Well, I mean, because Napoleon, he's a Bonaparte, like, yeah. and he's dressed <laughs> as though he was in the French Revolution. 
So that one's kind of a given. Empty chairs at empty tables. <laughs> Where my cat will eat no more. Alright, now we're on the roof. Let's take care of this burglar. Get rid of any burglars scamping on the roof. Alright, you guys. That was my favorite song in that movie. What movie? Les Mis. Les Mis, okay. Is this the the play or the I... one with Hugh Jackman? The one with Hugh Jackman. Hugh I've, Jackman. All I've right. never seen the play. Did you know that Russell Crowe actually used to have a band? What? Like, the guy can sing. He was just hung out to dry by the director of that production. <laughs> but, like, the guy can sing. He can sing, like, rock tunes and, like... Well, th I feel like that's the thing. If you take someone who's, a, you know, rock and roll... Country. ...and put them into operatics, like, it's oh. not going to work. Okay, so this is what happened. So he challenged his inmate to a game, and he lost, and he started to get frustrated. Interesting. So Fred used to work at the asylum, and it was actually Crispin who was the patient. But somewhere along the line, Fred lost his mind, and Crispin became the orderly. <laughs> not that Crispin. The Crispin who said, Hello, police You're not Dr. Lobato. You don't pay my salary, so kindly go away and die. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> that one. I'm over here just like, Police girl. <laughs> police girl. I am the orderly. I run the asylum. I feel like we should watch the new Helsing. Okay, you can come out. We did Word start the new going. Helsing. We yeah. just we have to resume a lot of shows, okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We've okay. continued Here Comey we can't communicate and um we're waiting for the last few episodes of Owl House. Owl House. Yep. So while we wait, we started Adventure Time. Yes. Okay. So, now that we have an actual playable player character that we can use, this is how we progress the level. So I'm gonna get my abilities together. We're gonna ignite you first because you're in the way. And we don't like that. There we go. Okay, so we use these. Wee! And we're back on the board game <laughs> with the overhead view. Now, exclamation points are characters with. Oops, I didn't want to catch you on fire. I wanted to move you without <laughs> telekinesis. I'm sorry! So we move them space by space. Move him to the bridge, and he repairs the bridge. Don't worry, darling. We'll get you fixed up good as new in no time. Man, I am good. Ba boom! Okay. So yeah, and houses with an exclamation point, those are the ones that we have yet to treat. Okay. That's Napoleon's castle in the center. That's our end goal. Whoop. Once again. Just another one of those figments just standing there. Alright, so I believe one of the peasants said we need to prove that Fred cares, and then he'll join the fight. Hey, Fred! The problem is hey, people Fred. Think they don't care. What? For they Eddie. Care? <laughs> then lead them to victory, Milkitus. Shut up. They think you don't care if they live or die. What do they want from me? A notice on my official stationery that says I'd be sad if they died? Yep. <laughs> huh. Well, if that doesn't work. Let me guess. You give up? Bingo. Ha! Another game at which I would surely defeat you. Hey, you take that little victory if you need it, tiny man. Would you like to explain the story behind Fur Eddie for our new viewers? Oh my goodness. <laughs> so we, one of the other playthroughs that we played was Trials of Mana. Mm -hmm. And whenever, I, I believe... Um, it was your playthrough because hey, Kevin has hey, to be I the third character. Okay. 
So when Kevin oh was breaking the other characters out of prison, a guard comes up and I can't wait his name is call. Fur Eddie. Mm-hmm. Well, you might not and die. the voice actor that you voiced Kevin, like the way he said it, he was like, oh, Fur Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> and I lost my shit yep. because he's a part of the Wolfmen pack okay. and the Wolfmen oh, all have like a lot of hair. I'm ready. Mm-hmm. Because they're part wolf. Yep. And I just, I lost it. I was like, they all should have, like, pun names. Yep. For Eddie. <laughs> and, like, Kevin's voice actor is, like, very awkward in his delivery. And that serves the character, but that also results in a lot of, I think, unintentionally hilarious yeah. moments. <laughs> yeah. All right, so now we got our peasant soldier. We're going to throw him over to... The enemy soldier. Oops. You just yeet him. Hang on. Yeah. Yeet. Gotta yeet him across the bridge. There we go. Right there. Ah, ah, take that. Die. Uh, I Silence! I kill you! <laughs> and there we go. I cannot believe it, Fred. They both died you in the fight, but they did it. For the good cause of Fred Bonaparte. Sacre bleu. We lost a player, but he lost a player. The game is on. Whoop! Another soldier. And another bridge. Alright, so we have to recruit another peasant because we lost the last one. Stop killing my bridges! But we still have the carpenter, so we can still repair the bridge. Alright, in the next episode, we continue the battle in Fred's mind. Toodles!